Hi, in this video we are going to talk about the concrete implementation of the closest pair of points problem. So first of all we are going to create a point class, point.java. It is going to store doubles, doubles for the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate. Of course if we are talking about the two-dimensional plane then two coordinates is going to define and determine a point in the two-dimensional plane, x and the y-coordinate. We are going to create a constructor for these parameters and of course getters and setters and I'm overriding the two-string method, just returning the point and so on. Then in the I'm going to create because we want to sort the points, these points, we will have several points. As you see here, we create points and, and we are going to store it in a list. And we have to sort it according to the x values. So I'm going to create an x sorter class. It implements the comparator. I'm not sure whether you are familiar with this basic Java stuff. But here we can specify that, okay, we have a point class. We want to sort it. Okay, but according to what we want to sort it? Of course, we want to sort it according to the points. So we want to compare. We have two points. We want to compare the x of the first point with the x of the second points and we can use the collections.sort so in the algorithm when we want to sort it according by the x coordinate we can call this collections.sort we have to specify the points and we have to specify a comparator that's going to specify it according to what we want to sort the points and of course it is an x sorter we want to sort it according to the x coordinate we will have a method distance. It is going to calculate the distance between two points. This is going to be the Euclidean distance and we are going to use the so-called Pythagoras theorem. We are going to calculate the distance on the x-axis. We are going to calculate the distance on the y-axis. It is just the basic triangle and we are going to calculate the square root of the x times x plus y distance times y distance and is going to give us the Euclidean distance between two points in the two-dimensional plane. Okay, then first of all we will have, of course, we have a constructor and we specify the points. So here as you can see in the app as we instantiate the algorithm we specify the points and we want to find the closest pair of points from this list. Okay, then we will have the solve problem. We have to create two lists, the x points that's going to store the sorted x points and the y points. So we just iterate through the points. We are going to create a distinct list for the sorted x points and the y points. Then of course we have to sort the this according to the x coordinate and I'm going to find closest points when we have a sorted x points we have the y points and the sorted points that size. So we have specified a number of points and if the number of points is less than or equal to 3 we can use the brute force approach. This brute force approach has quadratic time complexity as we have discussed we specify, it is just a basic search. We calculate the distance between every node to every other node. I mean every point to every other point. So it is just the basic nested for loop from i to the points that size. Then the j is equal to i plus 1. Why? Because we don't want to compare the distance between the point and the point. We know that it's, it's 0. So we, we, don't, we, we, we don't want to specify it to 0, we just want to i plus 1. And of course if the distance between the two points, the points i and point j, is less than the minimum distance, of course we update and the min distance will be the distance between the actually found minimum distance between two given points, index i and index j. And just return the minimum distance. But if we have more than three points, we have to calculate the middle index as we have specified in the theoretical section. It is going to be the number of points divided by two. We specify the middle point. It is just the sorted x that get middle index. So it is just the point with the middle index. And we have to divide 
or whole array into a left subarray and a right subarray. So we specify the lab left sub points y, left sub point, left sub point sorted x, and the right these are going to store the the coordinates for the right subset. And of course, this, this is going to store the coordinates for the left subset. So this we divide or points, and of course we have to iterate through or points array and have to decide whether it is going to belong to the left or whether it is going to belong to the right subarray. And of course we just have to we just have to use a simple if statement and have to check whether the x of the given point is less than the middle point x coordinate. It means that it belongs to the left subset. Anyways, it belongs to the right subset. So with this iteration, we are able to separate our array into a left and a right subarray. Then, as we have discussed in the theoretical section, we have to calculate the sigma. We have to calculate the distance between. The, so we have to find the minimum distance between the uh, pair of points in the left subarray. So we just call this method recursively. Left sub points left sub points y and the middle index because now the number of points will be the middle index middle index is basically the half of the number of points so it is correct we have to calculate the minimum distance in the right subset it's going to be the sigma right and of course the number of items will be the number of points minus the middle index because the middle index plus the number of points minus middle index is going to yield the total number of points and it is correct. Then of course as we have discussed in the theoretical section we have to calculate that what's the smallest, what's the minimum between two of this. We have a built-in method, mass that mean it's going to uh, does it for us. And then we have to specify that what are the points that belongs into the strip. As we can see we have to def define that, okay, we iterate through the number of points, and if the mass that up abs absolute value of the points y that get index that get x minus the middle point that get x is less than sigma, it means that this point is inside the two sigma interval. This is the so-called strip list, as we have specified in the theoretical section. And we just add it to the strip. Why is it important? Because we don't want to, we just want to bother about the points that's inside the strip. And how do we know it? We know it if the absolute value is less than sigma. It means that we have to deal with that point. And we have to find the closest, so we have to find the minimum distance in the strip. Maybe I'm going to rename it. Find minimum distance in strip. We have to specify the points in the strip and we have to specify the sigma and it's going to calculate the minimum distance. How? Sorry, how is... okay, here's that method. It is basically, as we have discussed earlier, that this is the most counterintuitive part that we have a nested for loop and you may come to the conclusion that okay, it's like the basic brute for search, but we have so few points we have to consider that it's going to be linear time complexity to find the minimum distance in the strip. So we just points that strip size with the i index, the j is going from i plus 1 uh, as far as the j is less than the point strip that size and it's very important that we have to consider that on the y axis we have to get the j y axis and the i get j and if it's less than the minimum distance, that we have, then we have to consider this solution. And of course, if it's less than the minimum distance we have specified here, then we are going to update the minimum distance. And then, of course, we return the minimum distance. So, here we calculate that what's the minimum distance in the left subarray, what's the minimum distance in the right subarray, but as we have discussed, we have to consider the strip. So we calculate that what's the minimum distance in the strip. And now we have to consider that if the minimum distance is less than the sigma, which is 
just was which is just the smaller between the sigma left and sigma right it means that the closest pair of points are in the strip region so this is why i'm going to return because we are looking for the minimum we have to specify that maybe the minimum distance in the strip is smaller than the sigma so we just have to call this mark that mean again and basically that's all if i run it these are quite intuitive points. The distance will be 1, I guess. Yeah. What about if, for example, I set it 1.1? 1 .1, then it is going to be smaller than 1. Yeah. 0 0.899999 and so on. This is how we calculate it with divide and conquer method. Why is it good? Because instead of the brute force search where the time complexity is quadratic, its running time will be linear rhythmic, so n log n, and that's what we are after. Thanks for watching.